installation of a Little Mac valve. The Little Mac valve has been on the piping scene for a good 30, 40 years. It's a very handy one-time valve that um, requires a little bit of, of uh, manipulation to have it work on your particular instrument. If, if the instrument has already had a Little Mac valve on it, to put a new one on, there is no adjustment. If you are starting and wanting to try out a Little Mac valve, um, the first thing we have to do is we have to open up the, the base of the blowpipe bore to accept the insertion of the Little Mac valve. A lot of blowpipes are awfully tight and what we have to do is we end up having to find a tapered reamer to open up the seat. We want to do this uh, very gently. Um, once we take the wood off, we can't put it back, so we want to go very slow and, and, and very uh, a, a strong, firm cutting motion into the wood. If it happens to be a polypenco blowpipe, same idea, but it will be easier to cut with polypenco than wood. Anytime we're dealing with wood, we don't want to horse anything because of the, the fear of cracking a wooden blowpipe. So what's the first thing you want to do is you want to check the the... the valve to see if it fits your particular blowpipe. You want to at least get this valve a good half inch half inch into the blowpipe bore. So what you want to do is put your valve down, take a, your reaming tool, and you just want to forcefully slowly cut going clockwise kicking away all the blackwood dust. What we're looking at right there is probably about a quarter of an inch, so we want to cut a little bit more. That's a pretty good fit right there. It's a compression fit, you don't need any hemp or Teflon, it's just a good force fit into it. Not too hard because it is a plastic and we can break any part of the Little Mac valve. And again, it's in there very securely. Another thing about the Little Mac valve is we want to make sure we keep it clean over the usage of the valve. The Little Mac valve comes in three pieces takes a little bit of work because it's a compression fit. You can pull apart and there's, there's our actual valve uh, rubber seal. These can be replaced. They should be kept clean. The interior of the valve should be kept clean. Just a little soapy water under, under the tap. These should last for years. 